discussing uh, tricks and the installation guide on how to assemble uh, Weber 32 inch grill, uh, the Performer Edition. Uh, this cost me around like $249. You can get it on sale as well, around like $200 price. But other than that, I will be sharing with you a couple of tricks which can make the installation uh, process a lot more faster and efficient. And uh, the first step is basically installing the VILT app, which has a lot more uh, detailed pictures to show you how to install it. But I will be basically adding a couple of tricks. I'll start with the first trick is using a drill and size 11 uh, socket and you can convert it of course into the metric one if you need to. The second most important thing is using the torque settings on your drill at a low speed within 3 to 7 maximum. And and basically what that will do is it will only allow you to put so much torque and so much turning power that you will not over tighten your screws which can basically in the future make uh, the nuts and bolts loose and uh, you think and fall apart Thank you. other than that uh, in my view this platform is really solid and uh, it is very efficient as well but you have to just keep out for this part do not have your fingers pinched in there because that is something I think that can easily happen so other than that this drill came with the thermometer basically collect the ash And here you can very easily store your uh, top rack as well and other than that the grills are really really nice and they're very polished and they almost have a feeling of non-stick to be honest Other than that, this uh, grill almost took me one hour to install, but uh, using the drill and the socket trick, you can of course cut down uh, 15 to 20 minutes from there. But other than that, uh, please keep a deep focus on the torque settings. Use them between three to five, to, uh, as well as the vent for increasing or decreasing the heat and controlling the heat and it comes with a, uh, this plastic or almost rubbery kind of uh, handle as well which was not there in the previous version other than that I will show you now on the bottom side and this uh, on the bottom side lifted this is very easy and definitely it's a very strong platform other than that on the bottom you can see uh, the ash collector you can spin this uh, fan sort of thing on the bottom which basically pushes the ashes down and by pinching this you can take out the ash collector and you can easily handle that For your immediate uh, needs, of course, you can use the top platform for storage of uh, different things like uh, your meat or anything else or the utensils. And uh, other than that, on the bottom, you can still place a lot of things, uh, for example, like oil can or something else that you need to. And another thing on this one, which is really great, is you can hand uh, Hang basically your utensils and uh, and towels or spatulas or any that sort of stuff. And now I will show you the inside. Another feature, great feature, is this uh, 
side uh, hanger for the top dome so you can easily lift it and you can place it right here and it seems very solid the grill basically has three different uh, modes on this previous one uh, my previous Weber the original one had only the flat surface and didn't have these things as well as the middle removable part and I will show you the cool area here as well this grill is definitely very solid as well and it doesn't have too big of holes in there these are fairly modest and you can see the fan below the holes for the coal are a lot larger as well for the ashes to fall through here and so spinning motion and everything seems very solid and thank you so much for your time and uh, watching this video if you like it please like and subscribe also this video was only for the introduction and uh, tips and tricks on the installation but moving forward i will also be including the uh, grill grilling session and uh, definitely i hope you have fun with uh, grilling with your family and uh, i hope that your installation process will be a lot smoother thank you